Hello dear all, welcome to the another video of series PHP MySQL tutorial for beginners. So in this video we are going to see how to create connection with MySQL database in PHP. So without wasting much of time let's start our tutorial. So to start our tutorial first we need to open our jam control panel and then we need to start Apache and MySQL. After starting the Apache and MySQL we need to open a text editor here i am going to use sublime text 3 you can use any text editor of your choice and after opening a file you need to save this file as connection.php so this is the connection file where we are going to write our database connectivity script so we need to save this file as connection.php and need to select the file name as all file. Then we need to save this file inside C drive and inside C drive we will you will find a folder called jam and inside the jam folder we need to select the ST docs and inside the ST docs we need to create a folder where we want to save our file here I have already created the assignment folder I'm going to save all the PHP file inside this assignment folder and this is the connection file where we are going to write our PHP script so here we are going to write our PHP script for database connectivity so first we need to declare a variable called server name here we need to put the server name as localhost if we are using the server from our computer and we need to type the username as root if you haven't changed the username till now this is the default username for PHP my admin then we need to type the password so here I haven't set any password and if you haven't changed the password till now then the blank password is the default password for PHP my admin. Now we are going to create the another variable called connection. So using this connection variable we are going to establish the connection to our MySQL database. So after defining the connection variable we need to call a function called So we need to call this mysqli.connect function and here we need to pass the three variable that is server name, username and password. So this is how we can connect the connect to our database using mysqli connect function. Now we are going to check whether the connection is established or not using the if statement. Inside this is if statement we are going to check the if not connection which means the connection is not established then we need to die we need to call the die function and need to display the message connection failed and after typing the connection failed message we need to call a function mysqli underscore connect dot underscore error so this is the function which display the type of errors occur during connection so this is how we can establish the connection to my SQL database here we need to put the dot symbol to concatenate the two messages connection fails and the type of error message now we are going to declare so don't forget to put the semicolon and now we are going to declare the else part which will display the message when the connection is established successfully so here inside the else we are going to print the message connected so this is how we can write a simple script for database connectivity so let's save the file 
and to run this file we need to type the localhost and folder name so this is the folder where we have saved our connection file and we need to click on that connection file so here i did a mistake on line number six so let's rectify our error so here i forget to put the dollar symbol in front of connection variable so this is the silly mistake i have made in the if statement on line number six so here i need to put the dollar symbol so i forgot to put the dollar symbol so let's save the file again and run the file so we have successfully connected to our database so if in our previous video we have seen how to create a database and table so now we are going to establish the database connection to that particular database so in our previous video we have created this database called student database so this is the database we have created in our previous video now we are going to establish the connection to that to this database so if you haven't created the database till now you can watch my previous video the link of the video i have given to the description you can see the video from that so now we are going to create the database to that particular database so to create a connection to particular database we need to declare the another variable called database db name so here we need to put that database name so our database is student so here we need to put the database name as student and need to put the semicolon and now we need to pass the another variable to the mysql i connect function so here we need to write the database name so let's save the file and run it again so this is how we can connect to our mysql database so in next video we are going to perform insertion operation and other operation using php in mysql thank you for watching do like